It is finally time. This is my first video on Madden 23. Now, I've been playing the game for a while, and of course, it has come to my attention that the one thing that every single person seems to be running is Man Blitz. The reason this Blitz is so good is because it's very easy to set up, and it comes in incredibly reliably. You have two loopers coming, and it just becomes a hassle to deal with. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways of blocking it. This first method might just be the best one because you do not have to max protect for it. This trick works because we're going to use a play action play out of a single back formation. Now, first of all, without anything, I'm just going to show you the setup. So it's going to be press the defense, pinch the linebackers and QB contain. And then on the back side, you can make lots of different adjustments. Now I'm going to run the play. And we're going to see if the pressure comes in. So boom, boom, boom. Uh, we get two loopers in. Now, of course, play action is always going to be funky, but we're going to make this better in just a sec. I have the blitz set up on defense. Now let's look towards the offense. So all we're going to do is we're going to block the running back. And if we look at this, we see that he kind of power blocks to the left. Double team right here. And we're going to snap this ball. You don't even need to be blocking the tight end, but if you block the tight end, it helps. And as you saw right there, we got time. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not going to get shedded. That is absolutely going to happen. But it's important to understand the difference between a looper coming in freely and us just getting shedded. I will do this one more time. Look at the play right here. We're going to block our running back and then we'll double team the defensive end that is on the side of the tight end. So just in front of the tight end there. Going to double team him, snap this ball, and you will see they just run into the guards that it didn't loop around the way that it usually does. I will show you this one more time just so you see that it is consistent. We're going to block our running back, double team right here, and then we'll just snap the ball. Boom, 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 boom. We'll step up and you see we have a lot of time. We can scramble right there. Of course, if I want to put some man beating routes on the field, then I'll also have some to throw, but this is more so just on the pass protection side of it. And just to show you that this is a universal single back tip, you do not need to be an X nasty for this. We're just gonna call PA boot from bunch tight end. We're gonna come out in the same blitz as before. We're gonna do this exact same thing. We're going to block our running back. You see he goes to the left a little bit. Double team right here. And if I snap the ball, you see how the looper goes inside and we can then look to hit any man beating route. And of course you still need to have some zigs on the field, some slants. Those are probably the best routes out there. But there you go. This is probably the best protection against this type of blitz in the game. As most people are in shotgun though, we'll need a blitz pickup out of shotgun as well. Quite important for this is that you have the running back and the tight end being on opposite sides. So we're gonna, just gonna call this ram speed dig out of the Y off tree a week. We'll call the same defense. I'll set it up on defense. We're gonna max protect slant to the side of the tight end. And then we're going to double team on that side as well. This is how it looks. And now you will see we just get enough time and we can throw an easy man being route. Just imagine having enough time just like that. Blitz is picked up. So we'll just throw this right here. Make a possession catch this time. And there you go. That is how you know that this is consistent. One more time for good measure just to really hammer home the point. that max protect, slant to the side of the tight end and then double team the defensive end on the side of the tight end takes care of this pretty pretty easily but what am i supposed to do if i'm running bunch where i can't block my tight end this easily well you're going to do the exact same thing now that might sound stupid but there's a workaround to get your tight end to block pretty easily so i'm going to set this up on defense just like so and then we're going to do the exact same thing i'm going to block my running back slant our line to the side of the tight end double team right here make sure that that mic is id'd on him and then I'm going to go on to Bobby Tanya on our tight end. I'm going to motion him in a step. And there you go. Now we have got the blitz picked up. Of course, they're going to be sheds as we had right there. But if we go into instant replay, you will see that we had the blitz picked up. So right there, boom, boom, boom. You see all the guys were picked up. Of course, you went around there. That's going to happen. But if you've got a lot of man beating routes underneath, they don't take that long to develop. That's more than enough time to get the ball out. So one more time, slant to the side of the tight end, double team right here. Make sure that the mic is on this rusher. Motion him in a step. And there you go. We have got this thing pretty much taken care of. If you've got a better O-line against the Rams defensive line, of course, is immensely strong. That's going to happen, these sheds. But all in all, you're going to have a lot of success with this blocking mechanic. My favorite formation at the moment is tied offset tight end. And because of that, I cannot really max protect. But there's a way to kind of slow down the rush a little bit to give you a little bit extra time. Same setup as always. And on offense, we're going to do one simple thing. We'll just double team either one of the defensive ends. Now, that is not going to pick it up, but that's going to slow it down a lot. I do not have to block my running back for this. So you see how they strafe 
and I just get a little bit extra time. This looked way better than compared to not doing it. So we'll just do this, snap the ball. You see how they loop in twice. Actually, this time it randomly got picked up. Yeah, there you go, that's, <laughs> that's the randomness of this game. Let's try it one more time because I feel like that didn't really illustrate the point that well. <laughs> Let's try it again, snap the ball without it doing anything. And there you go, double loop. Very much unimpeded. Sometimes it works better, sometimes it doesn't work that well. Now you see that they strafe a little bit and now I have a little bit extra time. But overall, yeah, that is pretty much it. That is the way that I have been taking care of this. Uh, you can, if you want, also try to block. There you go, I didn't, that was not a good read. Uh, you can also, if you want, block the running back. That's another option that you have right there. I'll just set it up uh, the way that I just meant to say it. Uh, you can, if you, you can ID the mic right here and then block the running back. Now that maybe takes care of it as well. I just gotta step up and have some better routes to throw because right there I just didn't put any man beating routes on the field. That is a topic for another video because man beating routes are sometimes a little bit hard to come by. But I'll give you some pointers on route combos that you can maybe try and go for. If you have the running back on a route though, you can do exactly what I just did right there. You can throw it to him. Amazingly enough, and a lot of people they forget that the running back is sometimes made up on safety that is out of position and they don't use the running back. But if you want to just kind of be ahead of that, the one thing that you always have to cover if he's going out on the route is the running back. If you don't get burnt by the running back, then you have a lot more success running this defense. I'll make a video on this defense sometime soon, also a video on some route combos. Stay tuned for that. For the moment, I'm out there. I appreciate you guys taking the time watching this video. I hope this helped you. If it did, then let me know in the comments. Also, subscribe to the channel. Do all the good stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. It would support this channel a lot. Till next time, goodbye, guys. And yeah, have fun facing this defense because I have.